What is going on everybody? My name is Drew here and what I have here is one of the best MacBooks ever made, hands down. And this is the 2012 MacBook Pro unibody. This is quite old actually. Specifically, this is not my MacBook. Long story short, this is one of my mom's friend's MacBook that apparently she completely forgot after 2015. That's almost a decade ago. And this is the first time it ever has started up. Out of all those couple of years of this being used, she upgraded to a MacBook Air 2015. So this is why she hasn't really gotten the chance to use this. But overall, this MacBook is in such phenomenal shape and it's crazy how good this is. I mean, look at those keys. They look like they've been barely worn and it's running 10.8. I had to uh, reset her password because that's also one of the reasons why she wasn't able to use this MacBook the past couple of years. She completely forgot her password. There's a lot of files here which I managed to back up. So pretty much this is good to go for an upgrade. Now the reason why this computer is in my hands right now is because I did tell her that these computers are pretty upgradable. And that means that it could definitely give her more years to come if she ever needs a B laptop. What I have here is an SSD from Micro Center. And this is a 512 gigabyte SSD. Now you were originally gonna go to one terabyte, but I mean, you know, you're barely gonna use any of these. And I just wanted to match the original hard drive, which was 500 gigabytes, 5,400 RPM on this 2012 MacBook. So having a 512 SSD is definitely going to speed things up. And we got 16 gigabytes of RAM here, plenty full. Honestly, this probably is very overkill, but you might as well just upgrade everything. And I did pay about $40 for this. Well, she did, but it's just more convenient for me to buy it from Micro Center than waiting online. Battery wise on this computer, as we know, this computer was not really touched at all for the past almost a decade actually, which is insane to hear. It says service battery, but for some reason, I don't know why it would say service battery when it has less than 200 cycles right here. Roughly around almost 300 cycles, which is not a lot. I'm presuming why this is really worn out is from just not being used at all. That's really one of the big recipes for killing your batteries by either completely depleting it to no power or overcharging it. Either way, just it, it's hard to maintain a lithium ion battery and over the years it will still wear down. All right, let's take this thing out. See what I can do with this. Just held like clips right here and wow that is very clean you can see there's marks over here but i feel like you just take that off yeah that's from the case that's not even from any drops at all there's no scratches in this computer absolutely mint the fact that we only need a phillips head to unscrew this 2012 unibody is really also one of the biggest reasons why i feel like this is one of the best years for apple laptops simple is this computer dusty or clean that's not bad. <laughs> that is surprisingly clean. A couple of dust here and there that we could easily wipe off. For the most part, these are very clean. And it looks like it's dated from October 2012. So if you use this until 2015, it's really not that long. It's only a couple of years. Here's my plan. Plan is to replace the thermal paste as well as the RAM and the hard drive. So we're gonna get into the RAM and the hard drive first. I love these types of packaging, not those weird plastic things where you have to completely rip it off apart. Oh, this one even comes with a sticker. Look at that, it comes with a sticker. Upgrading this is super easy. Just that, and then that, and voila, you got 16 gigabytes of RAM installed. A matter of seconds. Here you go, it's one, and two. Voila, the hard drive uses two Phillips head and we just need to take it apart. There you go. And voila. Now if you shake this and if you hear any clicking sound, that means there's something wrong with it. And you could hear a little bit of a tapping sound. It's definitely going bad at some point. Now we need to take these little screws out that holds the hard drive in place so we can mount the SSD properly. Just so I like to keep these old hard drives from Apple because one, they're very robust and reliable for the most part. So I usually turn these into like boot drives or something far more usable. I mean, this is 500 gigs. Here comes the fun part, getting this 512 gigabyte SSD from Inland. Now these are not as fast as like a Samsung Evo or Crucial, but it's completely fine for most tasks. It's not the best thing in the world, but it also isn't the worst. All right, now that the SSD is mounted with the screws, you can just safely put this back like the old hard drive. And voila, perfect. 
and two. Now when it comes to over a decade old cables, I always recommend using a prying tool like this iFixit one I got for about exactly $10. This is not sponsored, but I love using these. A lot of times, a lot of the uh, prying tools I usually get from China, they don't last very long and they're very flimsy. Oops, there you go. So after just a couple of scrubbing and brushes, this turned out to be very clean. Look at that heat sink. That is very clean. I've never seen a laptop this taken properly care of, especially after all these years. This is a 2012 MacBook. Looks like it's definitely dry and it definitely needs a good amount of thermal paste. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off camera. But for the most part, these MacBooks are very reliable. But the problem with these MacBooks right here is how underpowered the cooling system is. If you have an aging computer, or in this case, a 2012 MacBook Pro, you'll definitely see some crippling performance downgrades because of insufficient cooling solutions from Apple. If you could clean it up once in a while, like what I'm just doing right now, and get a fresh thermal paste like this one right here, this will definitely give you a boost in performance. It's also gonna be running a lot cooler. So now that we have finished putting everything back in, we just need to plug all of the cables and just wipe this down just a bit. This is the last time we're gonna be seeing this thing for a while. So we wanna inspect everything. We got the cable, we got all the cables here connected. And look at that, we forgot one thing. This is the final product. Look how absolutely good condition this MacBook Pro is. Holy moly, this is clean. You'll never see something like this in a very, very long time. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on and install Mac OS Big Sur. Click build and install to the SSD. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and boot to Big Sur for the very first time. Just hold Alt. We're gonna click the Open Core Legacy logo. Welcome to Big Sur. Continue, agree, yep. Now I'm just gonna leave this here and hopefully once we finish, we're officially loaded to Big Sur. So we have successfully downloaded Big Sur on this 2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch using Open Core Legacy Patcher. And now you can see we are running 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the best part about it is that the ServiceNow battery disappeared. Now after leaving this using its own power, using its own battery while installing Big Sur, you can see that everything has come back to normal. Because this computer has not been used in such a very, very long time and that battery has remained dormant, essentially what I need to do is just do a couple of cycles on the battery and it's probably how it fixed itself. But overall, this MacBook, I've already mentioned this before, anything 2010 and later 13 inch MacBook Pros are still perfectly capable, especially with the i5, with the hyper threading. Although this is only a dual core, it is still plenty fast and especially if we have a solid state drive right here, we have a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. This thing is super quick. This is still a very workable computer. You can scroll down and then you can zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. You know, this is very nice. And if we click a video right here, we just got dropped off in the it boots up pretty fast and we should be able to change the settings too to 1080p. If you put it at full screen, you can see it works and we slide left, right, left, very smooth. That HD 4000 graphics is still not that bad today. It definitely is good for basic tasks like browsing. We can go to every Mac. Now the fun fact about the 2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch, it was actually still sold as late as 2016. So if you go to every Mac here and we check out the specs for this computer, it was actually discontinued on the 27th of October in 2016. So it had a good amount of run. A lot of people are buying these left and right due to their upgradability. You can see how I can still play a lot of the video games are basic on the web. And I think this is run three, which is what we used to play back in 2012, 2013 in elementary middle school. I think this computer itself has really aged well. I mean, it really stood against time. There's a lot of factors why it's standing against time. Although it's not the fastest thing in the world, definitely not. Even back in the day, I mean, this is a dual core. Despite it being over a decade old, it is still perfectly usable even today. And in my honest opinion, this will probably last for another five years, depending on how the technology is now. I feel like this would be 
perfectly fine. We're not really at a point where technology is advancing so quick like back in the early 2000s. So computers from 2000s are completely obsolete. Anything after 2010 and moving forwards to 2024 now, a lot of these computers are still viable solutions for a lot of the basic web tasks. That's what makes a lot of this really compelling for the price they are right now. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show this computer some love, especially knowing that I've known this computer ever since it was bought. I can still vividly remember everything when this first came out. I was just like in awe by how cool it looks and how high quality it was. It's really cool to see that this is still perfectly working and that's exactly why I've upgraded the specs on this to keep it up with the latest and greatest websites and whatever. Now Big Sur isn't the latest and greatest but it should still be good enough for her to do a lot of like the basic web browsing, office, whatever. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. See you guys in the next one.